Welcome back to Sora Trades, where we break down the latest in stock market trends and investment opportunities. Today, we're diving deep into NVIDIA, analyzing its recent double top pattern, the potential descending broadening wedge, and the weekly chart to give you a comprehensive view of what's happening. We'll discuss potential support and resistance levels and what the technical indicators are telling us about future price movements. Let's get started. Let's kick things off with a detailed analysis of NVIDIA's daily chart. As of the latest trading session, NVIDIA's stock closed at $107.27 after testing the $101.37 level, which is also the top of an unfilled gap from NVIDIA's last earnings gap, up which has never been tested until yesterday. Let's break down the key observations. First, let's talk about the double top pattern that has played out recently. This pattern was confirmed when the price breached the neckline around the $120.16 level, and it has reached its measured move target almost precisely. This indicates that the initial bearish target has been met. If you remember our NVIDIA video from three weeks ago, where we postulated that the likelihood of a double top pattern forming was highly likely. If you missed that video, I'll drop a link to it in the description so you can review that price forecast. So, the descending broadening wedge pattern is the newest pattern I think that may be playing out. I think it may be playing out because a valid chart pattern requires five touches of their respective trend lines. And as you can see, we do have five valid touches. However, the fact that the last two touches are so close together weakens the validity of the pattern. In my view, the pattern could also morph into a descending channel. For now, we'll just need to take this one day at a time and watch the support and resistance levels for clues. The immediate support level we're watching is $101.52, which aligns closely with the measured move target and recent low from the double top pattern I shared with you three weeks ago. On the resistance side, we have $119.87, the 20-day moving average, and $120.16, the neckline of the double top. The next hurdle to overcome, though, in the ultra-short term is the 10-day moving average, near 113.45 currently. We need to see price close above that widely followed moving average to confirm that price is indeed stabilizing. The current price is below the 20-day moving average at $119.87, but remains above the 200-day moving average at $80.55. Even after a 30% drop, price is still 30% above the rising 200-day moving average. Trading below the 10 and 20 and 50 period moving averages indicates short-term bearish momentum, but there is still long-term support. The recent high volume during the sell-off suggests strong selling pressure, which might be easing as the price approaches key support levels, and the high volume bar we saw on Friday may possibly be an exhaustion bar. What we want to see is price not follow through with a break of the 101 level. A break lower than 101 would increase the odds of a continuation of the downtrending 20 period moving average, which just crossed below the 50 period moving average on the daily. Additionally, the price is near the lower boundary of an ascending channel, which might provide further support. Now, let's move on to the weekly chart to get a broader perspective. Taking a look at the weekly chart, we can see some critical long-term indicators. One key observation is the significant negative divergence on the weekly chart between the price and the relative strength index, RSI. This divergence usually precedes lower prices, indicating weakening momentum as the price continues to rise. Since the divergence printed, the price has fallen from a high of $140.76 to a recent low of $101.37, so one might argue that the negative divergence did its job, and price did indeed correct 30% so far, so as long as the broader market stabilizes, we could see NVIDIA move higher. Price has bounced off the rising 20-period moving average on the weekly chart. Although price did pierce that price point last Friday, which I don't like, but could give it a pass if price holds 101, if not the rising 50 period moving average at 75 on the weekly chart and the rising 200 period moving average on the daily chart could be the ultimate destination. The 20 week EMA at $105.60 has acted as significant support with the price closing below this level only once in the past 82 weeks. The 50-week SMA is at $75.07, and the 200-week SMA at $34.69. 
The recent high volume might indicate an exhaustion of selling pressure, suggesting a potential for reversal as long as price can continue to close above 105. So, what does all this mean for NVIDIA in the short term and the long term? Let's break down the potential scenarios. Bullish scenario. If NVIDIA can hold above the immediate support intraday at $101.52 and the lower boundary of the ascending channel, we might see a rebound. The proximity to the 20-week EMA also adds to the potential support. Look for bullish reversal patterns or signs of consolidation near these levels. Bearish scenario. If the broader market continues to weaken and NVIDIA fails to hold key support levels, we could see further declines. A break below $101.52 could lead to a move to fill the open gap that it tested on Friday, and to fill that would see price go down to the 94 level. Any close below that would increase the odds of a move down towards the 200-day MA at $80.55. Sustained high volume on down days might indicate continued selling pressure. However, a trading session with significantly higher than average volume could also be a selling climax which could mark a bottom. We saw a high volume bar Friday, but not high enough to mark a bottom in my view, as although there was an uptick in volume, it was only 482 million shares versus the typical daily trading volume of 445 million shares changing hands. One neutral scenario is if Nvidia consolidates between the current support and resistance levels, it might indicate a period of uncertainty before a more decisive move. Monitor the price action for clear breakouts or breakdowns, or tap the second link in the description to join our free Discord to see what we're trading in real time, or tap the first link in the description to get an instant notification when we buy NVIDIA or the S&P 500 stock options in real time. Now, let's discuss NVIDIA's future prospects and what's in the pipeline that could positively impact its earnings and revenue. NVIDIA's AI Enterprise is a comprehensive suite of AI and data analytics software optimized for NVIDIA GPUs. It enables organizations to deploy AI workloads on virtualized infrastructure efficiently. NVIDIA's DGX systems are designed to accelerate AI and deep learning tasks. These powerful computing systems are used by researchers and businesses to develop and deploy AI models faster. NVIDIA is also working on a drive platform, which is a scalable AI platform that powers autonomous vehicles. It includes hardware and software solutions for everything from perception and planning to driver monitoring and in-cabin experience that is currently being used by Audi, Mercedes-Benz and Volvo, Toyota, Hyundai, Xpeng Motors, Lucid and Volkswagen. NVIDIA Drive technology is widely adopted by many leading automakers and technology companies in their efforts to develop autonomous vehicles and advanced driver assistance systems. The platform's powerful AI capabilities, scalability, and comprehensive software stack make it a popular choice for companies looking to accelerate their autonomous driving programs. In conclusion, NVIDIA's recent price action shows mixed signals with the completion of a double top pattern and potential support at the measured move target. The current support levels around $101.52 and the lower boundary of the ascending channel are crucial to watch. If these levels hold, there might be a rebound opportunity. However, broader market conditions and continued selling pressure warrant caution. Thanks for watching. If you found this analysis helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights on your favorite stocks. Let us know in the comments what you think about Nvidia's future and where you see the stock heading next. So let's make some money this week and see you in the next video.